hello Libra viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you, or just whatever the cards want to say about your current situation, current love life. I hope you guys are doing okay. I immediately felt pain from at least a few of you guys um, as I started channeling you, so I don't know what's going on. It seems like a somebody might be going through like a karmic phase, like a he like learning something, um, going through a healing process, maybe like a tower moment, something. Let me pull some cards from here really quick. What's going on with you guys? King of Pentacles. What's going on with this King of Pentacles? Four of Pentacles. Hmm. So you're either... Even if, it, even if this is a gay or lesbian situation, still someone's in masculine energy and someone's in feminine energy. You know, you can, someone's always, th those are just energies. It doesn't necessarily mean gender. Um, so you're either the king of pentacles or you're the queen of wands right here. But right with this, I always see stagnancy. So it's like someone's, there's some sort of stagnancy in, in this situation. It's like someone needs to come forward. They're getting out of hermit mode. Either you're getting out of her hermit mode or your person is currently getting out of hermit mode. I'm coming forward to you. What's going on? Yeah, that's good energy that we have that reversed because it's like six of cups upright would be nostalgia. You know, six of cups... And the hermit upright would be someone who's isolating themselves because they're nostalgic, they're they're longing for someone, they're in pain, they're heartbroken, they're missing someone. It's like they don't want to live their life without this person. But it's like this is, this energy is reversed. So it's like someone's coming out of this period. It could be for you, some of you are, are facing a harsh truth that this person is just not right for you. And... You know, you're getting out of this energy. You're moving past this heartbreak and you're living your life again. You're like, I have to, I have to move on from this now. For others, I feel, and you know what your situation is, you know, I think there's two different um, energy groups that I'm probably channeling during this reading. It looks like sometimes, occasionally that happens. If, um, but for some of you, it's, it's the, this romantic situation has been stagnant. And it's like your person has maybe been in hermit mode. Maybe there's just been a lack of communication, uh, not knowing where this relationship is going, uh, just not just not talking or, or talking very little, if at all, not saying what needs to be said. But it's almost like someone was introspective here and now they're coming forward. Now they they want to do this differently. Ten of Cups. OK, yeah, so that's a good energy. It's like someone had to take some time out to be introspective and now they're they're recognizing that they're recognizing um something here that they they want a new start with you. And they're seeing you in your power more. They're seeing you as stronger than before. They're seeing you as more assertive than before. They're seeing you as a changed person. So for this for this group of um, Libras that I that I channel um, consistently, I've been getting a continuous story of, of healing. You know, most of my videos are about, for, for the Libras at least, most, most of the, the energy I get in the videos is about you guys healing yourselves, you guys cutting out toxic patterns um, that have to do with attraction to to emotionally unavailable and toxic people. It's it's been a, a journey for you, especially the past year of just of, of working on yourself, you know, maybe physically working on yourself too, like diet and exercise, um, you know, mentally, emotionally, just cutting out patterns, really doing a lot of shadow work this year, uh, really going inward. Maybe you've had more time because of the pandemic, you've had more time to kind of go inward and meditate and work on yourself. And, you know, with this downtime, it's like you're, you're doing something productive with it. You're, you're healing yourself. And I think, I think the last reading I did, I was getting, you know, healing is messy. You know, change can be scary. It can be overwhelming, but you know, nothing is as scary and painful as, is staying somewhere, stuck somewhere where, where you don't belong. 
you know, and it's like, you've been looking for a sign, you've been looking for guidance that you're on the right path. And, you know, I've been getting that in that video, in those videos that I've been doing for you guys, like, yes, you are on the right path. Healing is just messy. It's just, it's up and down sometimes, you know, but, but it's like, keep doing the shadow work, keep cutting these patterns out. Sometimes when you cut, when you cut toxic people out, Sometimes it really does feel uncomfortable at first because they're familiar to you because those patterns, if that's what you grew up with in childhood, then it's like those patterns resonate with you. Those kind of toxic people resonate with you because that's what you've always known. That's what you're used to. And when you cut all that out and you you work on yourself and you replace those bad habits with good habits and you start, you know, trying to to socialize with a different type of person, like sometimes it's it's a process where sometimes it's like you're just... Sometimes it's just uncomfortable at first. Sometimes it's just, it's unfamiliar energy. You know, stepping out of your comfort zone is a beautiful thing, but it feels different for everybody. So if stepping out of your comfort zone isn't feeling the way you think it should feel, it doesn't mean that it's wrong. It just means it, it feels different for you than it does for somebody else. You know, sometimes stepping out of your comfort zone just feels freeing and open and you're just in this, having these spiritual epiphanies and this spiritual high vibrational energy. But for others, it's it's like scary. It feels dark. It feels traumatic because it's like you're in this limbo period where you're letting go of everything you thought you knew. It's like you're challenging your own beliefs, your own patterns, your own, your mind, your subconscious. And, um, you know, you're getting through that energy and, and you're saying, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to date toxic people anymore. I don't want to date emotionally unavailable people anymore. And then you date nice guys or you date nice girls, but sometimes it doesn't feel good. Sometimes it feels like, like you don't resonate with them at first, you know, or it's like, it's just unfamiliar, uncomfortable energy where you're like, you don't know how to let someone treat you like a queen or treat you like a king. Like it feels like too good to be true, or it just feels like you feel like you don't deserve it, or you just feel awkward about it. Like they're doing too much for you, you know, cause it's like, it's new energy. And this could be applied to other things too, like career. It's like you get a promotion, but it's like some part of you, you know, maybe questions if you deserve it. Um, it's just that kind of energy where it's like when you step out of your comfort zone, again, it's going to feel different for everybody. For some people, it's going to be feel freeing and happy. And then for others, it's just like scary because it's like now you have to now you're taking the blindfold off and you have to look around and see what's around you. And you're like, oh, shit, there's all these toxic people around me. And from this new perspective, I'm realizing how toxic they are. I'm realizing that they were gaslighting me. And from this perspective, I can't tolerate that anymore because it's not it's not a vibrational match to me anymore. I don't want that in my life anymore. But it's still painful and it's still scary having to let all those friends and all those uh, potential lovers go, you know, when you take that blindfold off because it's like you just see them in a whole different light. And it can be a really lonely process, but it, it's it's a beautiful process too because you're changing these patterns and you're you're getting yourself um, into this vibration where you manifest what you deserve and you can align with what you want and deserve because you know that, you know what I mean? Like on a subconscious deep level, um, you know that you deserve it. And a lot of you, I think, are like doing affirmations or you're about to start doing affirmations, like you're feeling drawn to affirmations, feeling drawn to do whatever you need to do to reprogram the subconscious and just get in alignment with what you deserve. So so just know that, that healing is different for everybody. It's not going to look the way that, it might not look the way that you think it should look. Um, but you know, you're on, as long as you're doing the healing work and you're stepping out of your comfort zone and you're trusting your high vibrational guides and you're setting these boundaries and you're, you know what you deserve and you know that you deserve more and you're, you're raising your vibration. As long as you're doing those things, then you are on the right path, you know, um, just keep stepping out of your, your comfort zone. Cause I feel like a bittersweet energy here. Like there's something really painful here that you're going through, or your person is going through, but there's like a happy ending here too. I'm almost wondering, cause I channeled it as two different stories. And I'm wondering if for some of you, it's the same story. Maybe it's both. Cause, for, cause at first I channeled and I was like, okay, this is like someone who's, you know, you know, taking the blindfold off. It's like they were in, you were in this period of, of pain and nostalgia and heartbreak. And now it's like, you're getting out of this. You know that this person is toxic, you know, it's time to move on. Um, and then for others, I was getting that this was a relationship where it's like your person was stagnant and your person was in hermit energy and not making a move. They were just kind of dreaming about you, just kind of nostalgic over you. And now they're like, you know what? I want to I want to come forward. And I'm almost wondering, I channeled it as two different groups, which is which is possible. It's still possible. But 
I'm almost wondering for some of you if it's actually the same story where maybe this is two different people, two different men or two different women. Whereas maybe some of you are letting go of an ex that's incredibly toxic that gaslit you and hurt you and abused you. And at the same time, there's also maybe this new person who's feeling that energy. They're feeling that you're strong and that you're confident and that you might actually accept love now, that you might actually be open to something with this King of Pentacles or this Queen of Wands. And now they're looking at you and they're like, wow, this person is like letting go of, they're using this sword to cut out toxic people. They're, they're standing, they have, um, you have more self-love now, like more self, like you're, you're starting to rate, you're starting to get in tune with this energy of self-confidence, of self-worth, of, um, you know, cutting out toxic people, just standing by this sword, you know, see, she's, she's true to her sword. She's cutting out anyone that doesn't serve her best interest. Anyone that's going to use her, abuse her, not, not match her energy the way that she deserves. She's cutting them out. He or she is cutting them out. And, and so I wonder if like, maybe like a secret admirer type that you maybe would not have originally resonated with. Maybe now they're resonating with you more and you're resonating with, with them more. Could be like a friend too. And maybe they saw you be abused or they saw you be neglected by people. And now they're kind of seeing you in this queen of swords energy. And you're like, you're more powerful. You're more confident. You're taking control of your life. You, you know, it's going to be messy. You know that the healing process is messy. Um, regardless of whether you're, where you're, where you're at, if you're in the beginning, the middle, towards the end of that healing process, I mean, we're always healing, but you know what I mean? There's one specific, it's like, it's like a karmic phase or something almost that, that you guys have been going through in regards to healing and it's like someone's noticing that they, they're noticing you in this in this energy that you're strong you're confident you're you're making your life what, what you want it to be and so it's like they're not just watching you from afar they're they're really thinking maybe it's time to come forward now maybe this person would reciprocate or maybe they just didn't notice you before in this other energy where you were kind of letting people walk all over you and now you're more confident and so it's starting to attract the right people to you because you're really you know, you're, you're saying when, when those insecurities come up, you say like, no, that's not, that's, that's my mind. That's what I've been through. That's not who I really am as a soul. Like you're staying true to who you are as a soul. And that, that's, um, resonating with someone. Like someone's just really starting to see your light. They're starting to see you in a new way. Yeah. You're cause you're strong. You're confident. You're standing your ground now, whereas before you didn't. And you're letting something sail away. There's something toxic. I think there's two different energies here. There's something toxic and you're letting that toxic thing sail away so that you can have your true love. So you can have your two of cups with someone who's actually worthy. Yeah, Ace of Wands here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I do feel a heartbreak, but I think that you knew this was coming. I think you knew this was coming, unfortunately. For some of you, there might be like a tower moment that's just come up or that's going to come up um, that's going to lead to you like ending this pattern because like you know it's over with this person that maybe you still hold held out a little bit of hope, but you're you're starting to, as you develop your confidence, you start looking at them differently and you're like, but there's still that nostalgia there. There's still that connection there, even though it's not resonating with you the same way it did before, you know? Um but it's like for some, they might just come back in and try to gaslight you or try to manipulate you. And then you're just going to, you're going to be done, but you're going to have to, you might have to go through that heartbreak. You know, you might have to, your guides want this out of your life. This toxic person, if you're still holding on, then they might bring them back. But unfortunately they're just bringing them back so that they can show you why it would not work out with them. They want that through your head that this person isn't going to change. So they might bring them back so that you can, you know, cause you're in like, for those of you that are still in that energy where, you know, this person is toxic, but you love them. And so you're kind of insisting, like, I want this person. I want this person. Maybe they can change. Maybe they'll stop doing this. Maybe they won't cheat again. Maybe this, maybe that it's, it's like your guides might bring them back. And again, just the, pur for, for just the purpose of showing you that they're still the same person that they've been, that they're still going to break your heart. And it's like a tower moment that would that would come up to so you can release this. But your guides want you to cut and clear this toxic person, whoever they are. And this wouldn't be someone who just like, you know, was a good person but made a few mistakes. No, that's not this. This is like someone who was like abusive, like physically, mentally, verbally, talked down to you, gaslit you, um, cheated on you, made you feel like you weren't good enough, 
controlling, manipulative, just like it, it, you would know this is toxic. Like, you know, your intuition knows you got to listen to your body and your intuition and not ignore it. Your body will like tell you most of the time, like if you feel tense around someone, you need to, you need to be mindful of that. But, um, show me the new person. It's like just wanting to want to run away from life. Yeah. Don't let, don't let the loneliness in if you, cause a lot of people have exes. I keep channeling that for this group. A lot of you guys have exes coming back around, um, during Mercury retrograde and you got to decide, do you want this new life? Do you want to look forward and be strong or do you want to stay stuck in that cycle with this ex? Show me the new person. Actually. Oh my God. I keep, I forgot that I freaking put these cards down. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of saying what we just got with the other cards. I'm going to pull these ones, actually. It's kind of just saying the same thing. <laughs> Nostalgia, longing. It's it's like you're longing for it because that's what's familiar to you. But it's not doesn't mean it's true love just because it's familiar. It's toxic. There's the red flags. Yep. Yeah, you need to be honest with yourself. Show me the new person, though, because I feel like I feel a new love and I haven't gotten that. I don't know when the last time I, I got that energy for Libra was because it's been consistent where I keep getting, you know, healing, healing, healing. And I'm sure that probably frustrates you guys, too, because you like you're resonating for, for my Libra followers. It's like you guys are resonating with my reading, saying like you're healing you're you broke this pattern. This happened because of this, like you're resonating with that energy. But I'm sure you guys are also like, where the hell is love? And I always feel bad for you guys because it's like my other zodiacs are getting love channeled and you guys usually just get like healing. You have to heal. You have to do this. And then love is going to come in. Like you guys have been in a very messy cycle, especially the past year. But this is, this is really a hopeful reading because this is the first time I've actually gotten the, the energy of a love interest that's, that's noticing you. So this, again, this could be a friend that you didn't notice before, but maybe in this new perspective, you're going to look at them in a different light. And they're also looking at you in a different light. They're seeing that you're healing, that you're changing, that you're, um, you know, that you, they just, it's, it's like a perspective shift that now you guys are resonating with each other more. And again, it could, could be a secret admirer. It could be someone at work or school or, um, like online or someone just kind of watching you. Cause someone's like, almost like they're like observing you is the energy I get. Like they're going to see what they're wanting to see. They want to see what you're going to do next. Like they're, they're kind of getting intrigued by like your, maybe like social media posts or things that you say or do. Like they notice that you have a glow up. Like you have like a, a new energy about you. Like you're not, maybe you always used to like have your head down and kind of like slouch and stuff. And now it's like, you're dressing differently or you're more, you're just more confident. You're more like easy going. There's like a new energy about you that this person's noticing and you got to choose that path. Yeah. Someone's spying. Show me the new person. Show me more about the new person. Show me. Yeah. Again, see, this is like your glow up right there. Look at her focusing on finances, career. Yeah. There's a hidden truth. This could be someone that's liked you for a while that maybe they like, maybe you're with someone else or maybe there's just some energy where they didn't think they'd be your type. And it's like, now that you're changing your patterns, they might actually be your type. You know, because you can actually like resonate with someone taking care of you and loving you and they're wanting to come forward and make and make a move. So I'm really happy for you guys that we're finally getting this energy because I feel so frustrated for you guys. It's always just like healing, healing, healing. And it's like, oh, my God, when do you guys get to have love? And it's like love is here. Finally. Yay. <laughs> You're finally like you've come through some sort of like epiphany or like some sort of final step or something. There's some kind of energy here where you just like leveled up. Yeah, you might have seemed cold and guarded and distrusting to this person. And now it's like your energy feels different. So they're thinking, now that they are seeing you in this different energy, they're thinking, oh, wow, maybe I do have a chance. Maybe I can come, maybe maybe this person will notice me. And this is someone that's like cute too. I don't think they're not cute. I think that you've just been so in your head that you didn't notice them. Yeah, manifesting this. manifest. They could be manifesting you as well. Could be someone you met out like at a social event, like clubs, parties. I don't know why for some of you I'm getting school. Something about someone you went to school with. Not for all of you, but just for a few of you. There's a really specific message. Like I see like, again, I think this is just for one of you, but I see like a sweet nerdy guy with glasses and like I think blonde hair. I think that's just for one of you though. But he's like, he's cute though, but he's like, 
you might not notice him, but like he's really hot. He just, he dresses down. So it's like, you don't notice how hot he is. But if you actually like got to know him, you'd be like, oh damn. Oh damn. <laughs> damn. Sorry, I'm a nerd. Um, <laughs> I like to laugh. I'm like, I, I say stupid shit and then I just laugh at myself. I'm like, why not? Yeah, adventure, honeymoon, vacation, new love here. You have new love here. You have some new love here. Getting through the sadness, getting through the loneliness and isolation. Getting through the codependency, yeah. Yep. And someone's watching now. Someone's choosing their approach. They're planning something out. I like this energy. They're wanting to come in strong. You just wouldn't have resonated before, so it's like your guides couldn't bring it in before because you would reject them. You'd be like... Like, you weren't noticing them. You were just kind of, like, closed off. You were just in your head. And now you're, like, resonating with this energy of, of love, of, of, you know, someone wanting you. So it's a really beautiful energy. I hope this resonates. If it does, um, I do private readings. My email address is below in the description section. Uh, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. And if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, share. Maybe someone else on your, your social media accounts uh, needs to hear this message, too. So thank you for watching.